Italy got unified. Children, see the map. Firstly, this map. Italy, there were uh, seven different parts of Italy. You can see all these different parts uh, were there in Italy and after its unification, they, it, it united into a one particular country. So, now we will see how this, see this part, this, this. Okay, so you can see this is seven uh, states. Okay, now how this unification of Italy was, this process was finally completed. Again, a very important question ex as far as board exams are concerned. Okay, so just uh, see to it what happened in Italy, how Italy uh, was uh, unified. Okay, so uh, see there was also uh, like uh, Germany, in Italy also there was um, you know, political fragmentation, Italy was also you know, scattered over several dynasties, okay. So, there was multinational Habsburg Empire. So, how that multinational dynasties were there, uh, you know, parts were there and how that parts were finally unified, okay, that see to it. Again, a very important question as I told you. During the 1830s, Guzip Mezzini had sought to put together a coherent program, a very forceful program, okay, for a unitary Italian Republic. He had also formed a secret society called Young Italy for the dissemination of his goal. His goal was to make the country unified, to make Italy nation state, okay. So, the failure of the revolutionary uprisings in 1830 one in 1848, okay, meant that the mantle now fell on Sardinia Piedmont under its ruler King Victor Emule II to unify the Italian states to war. See, remember, uh, see, uh, after 1848, there was a need uh, for maximum European countries to make them as nation states, okay. So, that is how there were uprisings going on and when all such uprisings uh, finally, you know, failed in, especially in Italy. So, finally, they wanted that this uh, Sardinia Piedmont under its ruler King Victor Emule II should take the lead to unify the entire country, okay. So, with Sardinia Piedmont, the chief minister Kever, who led the movement to unify the regions of Italy and who was Kever? He was a chief minister. Sometime question can be asked about uh, Kever. Okay, about difference between Kever and Otto and Bismarck because Bismarck was responsible for unifying Germany and Kever was responsible for unifying Italy. Okay, so who was Kever? He was a chief minister. He led the movement to unify the regions of Italy and he was neither a revolutionary nor a democrat like many other healthy and educated members of the Italian elite and he also spoke French. He, you know, never spoke Italian, but he used to speak uh, French language. So, because of its policies, diplomatic alliances with France, he got help from France and that was being done by Kever. Sardinia Piedmont succeeded in defeating the Austrian forces in 1859. So, against these Austrian forces, uh, Kever was able to get support from France. So, with the alliance with the France, Sardinia Piedmont able to defeat Austrian forces in 1859. Okay, so apart from regular troops, a large number of armed volunteers under the leadership of Guzip Garibaldi joined the fray, joined this entire movement. Okay, so in 1860, they marched into South Italy and kingdoms of two Sicilies. Okay, so you can see the one by one they are trying to unite, joining these uh, different parts of Italy, succeeded in winning the support of local peasants in order to drive out these Spanish rulers. As I told you earlier that, um, you know, Italy was uh, politically uh, fragmented and it was scattered over several dynasties. So, one by one different dynasties were being brought under the uh, unification. So, that was also done here, like South Italy and kingdoms of two Sicilies succeeded winning the support of local peasants and they drive out these Spanish rulers and finally in 1861, 
विक्टर एम्यूल सेकेंड वॉज प्रोक्लेम्ड दी किंग ऑफ यूनाइटेड इटली ओके एंड पीपल दे वर नॉट फुली अवेयर अबाउट यू नो दिस दिस किंग दिस इटली ओके दे यूज टू यू नो बिलीव दे यूज टू स्पीक इटालिया ओके दे हैव नेवर हर्ड अबाउट दैट इटालिया ऑल्सो दे यूज टू बिलीव दैट इटालिया इज यू नो इज वाइफ ऑफ विक्टर एम्यूल okay so that is our people were so illiterate and backward in this region but still because of the efforts made by kever guzip garibaldi and this far finally victor emmanuel second the country was finally unified and children here i would just like to tell you one thing that after the unification of germany and italy both these countries they started their process of development okay and in their process of development they made tremendous you know improvement in industrialization okay in ship building etc and they also wanted to have more and more territories under their uh, influence okay so that is why italy and germany they became major causes for the beginning of first world war in 1914 okay now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of math, science, social science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.